Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before I here bring you guys a gameplay here in Free For All. And also, the map is called uh, Strike Zone. You guys already know this map, you're familiar with it. And uh, the weapon that I'm currently using is called the Bison. Now, a little information about this weapon it's a hell of a weapon from the hip fire position. Now, I have tried it before without this certain perk, which uh, I think you guys already know which one it is because I'm freaking accurate from the hip fire. And um, also, I tested out with the foregrip, and the foregrip does not make a difference at all with this weapon. So, um, I had to find some other way to make this uh, gun very accurate. And uh, actually, this perk called Steady Aim pretty much makes the gun a little bit more glitchier because apparently, when you aim downfield for medium range or long range, uh, the weapon rattles way too much. You're very not even accurate at all. Even with the foregrip, the gun is not accurate at all. But from short range, it's pretty much quick and also uh, it does not rattle at all. You're actually more of an accurate guy out there when it comes down to aiming. Now, with this perk called Steady Aim, you're accurate as hell. Like, it doesn't, you don't even miss the freaking shot if you have the enemy right in front of the freaking crosshair. Like, you're shooting from hip fire, you had Steady Aim, it's gonna be hitting those headshots real easy. No matter what, it's like you're playing left for dead. It's freaking accurate, freaking accurate, and I think I might discover something that everybody doesn't even use. Because I know most of the people out there, maybe like around 10% of the players in uh, Call of Duty Goals, I'm, I'm taking a guessing number, um, actually use Steady Aim, which is not a lot. <laughs> exactly, maybe even less. Because uh, I know every time I get killed, I look at the perks and I'm like, alright, they never got me with Steady Aim before. Never at all. So. It's mostly quick draw, um, several other perks like Stalker, um, like, I don't know, some other perks that really allows him to aim fast and other perks. And um, what I noticed is that the Steady Aim is never included. So I might be the first guy out there to include Steady Aim in their SMGs. And it's a hell of a freaking perk because uh, I think in, like in the next few days, guys, I'm actually going to test out the Steady Aim on every single gun. Because I'm thinking like, what if I use it for an assault rifle? Would it be accurate as hell? I'm thinking of using it for the Honey Badger because I know the Honey Badger can be related to an SMG. So, um, see, so yeah, I'm in. A lot of things are going to be going into my new weapon setups, which is the Steady Aim, and hopefully it helps out because I know they helped out the Bison a lot. Because now you didn't have to aim to shoot down from a medium range, which is crazy. There's going to be some few times here where you can actually see me shooting from medium range and um, from hip fire, and it's going to be pretty much amazing. I'll bring you guys some other gameplays out there with the bison so you guys can see how I'll take out enemies from medium range and long range. Uh, there was a few times where I actually took out people from long range and I was like, what? I barely had them in my crosshairs and I'm free that freaking accurate? It's like incredible. The bullets actually go that straight. Without it, now, this is another thing. Without the freaking steady aim on this gun, the gun is going to be inaccurate all the time. It's not even going to be accurate at all. Like, the only time you can use the bison will be from short range and that's about it. So, I suggest to add the steady aim 24-7. Do not take it off. That's the only way you can be accurate at some point. And I promise you it's going to bring you a lot of kills. So, keep the steady aim in this weapon. That's what makes the bison. I think that's what uh, it builds up for it. Like The accuracy, that's the only way you can build it up. And another thing, also, um, I added the rapid fire on this, on this weapon. Even though it does have rapid fire, it is the fastest shooting gun out there in the SMB division. Um, I'll still add rapid fire so you can have the max because I know uh, most of the people camp and uh, you, you see them and you want to react first but then they kill you because your bullets are too slow to shoot off the weapon and um, you know I want to give you guys the full potential of a weapon so I want to add rapid fire to every single SMG. If you guys have seen my previous two class setups on the K7 and on the Vector CRB both of them had rapid fire, so I'm still going to add rapid fire on every single SMG, and yes, the Bison is carrying it, because I want it to be uh, max out on the rapid fire, and it's working, guys. I mean, there was like several moments in this gameplay where I was supposed to be killed first, but, uh, you know, the weapon reacted pretty much well to the enemy, and, uh, you know, I ended up taking them out, because I shoot very freaking quick. It's a quick shot. So, it's all about speed. I'm, that's all I'm saying right now, guys. It's all about speed. The, most, the, the more faster you are on the battlefield, I think the better you are. That's how it's been since Black Ops 1 for me. The faster you are, the better, the better you are. And the more, the more kills you're going to get. It's quite true, guys. So, anyways, that's what I want you guys to do. You know, test out the Bison. It's accurate as hell from the hip fire. 
And um, from the rapid fire side, it's incredible from short range. That's all I'm gonna say. Short range is pretty good for the bison. Medium range and long range shoot from hip fire, which is gonna be kind of weird because you know, hip fire is supposed to be less accurate than aiming down the field. So it's quite weird. I think it's a glitch or something, but I don't know. I gotta test it out more. And yes, I was supposed to talk about the bison right before I quit back in February, but I never got around to it. So this one's supposed to be coming out like uh was supposed to come out like a long time ago but i never got around to it because i quit uh call of duty ghost like a long time ago so um here's the bison you know hopefully you guys enjoy the class setup because it's gonna be coming out the real thing is gonna be coming up on um, friday or in, the, in two days or something i'm not sure but it's gonna be coming out soon guys the best class setup for the bison so leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up guys tell me what you like about this video and uh, tell me your opinion about the bison of call of duty ghost so i'll see you guys later and enjoy your day